side. So you go up here and click background and it'll give you some options to change the color or change the image. We'll get to that in a minute. So if you click on the drop down arrow, you get this nice color palette. I recommend using this row right here, just below the main color row. Uh, they just work really nicely. So for example, let's try yellow. You click that and then done. And there's a pretty nice background, not too in your face changes it up so here's an example if you use that yellow one whoa that's like pretty that's like the sun we don't want that so the yellow green and this light blue I think are pretty good starting points and you can experiment with some other colors so that's just giving it some color what we can also do is actually change the entire image of the background so you can upload and if you have photos, Google Drive, but what's really nice is you can search directly from Google Images. So let's say we want something maybe with technology, with all of this virtual learning and working from home. So we'll search technology background and we get all these options. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Kind of got like the home and the Wi-Fi. All right, so we click on that and then the lower right, we click insert and done. So it looks cool, but it, it might be a little too bold and bright. You wouldn't really be able to see any text on there. So let's see what else we can find with the same process. We'll do choose image. And it's still got my saved search item. So we'll scroll a little bit more. Maybe see if we can find something that's uh, a little bit easier on the eyes. And we can use text. So how about this one? Kind of this cool wavy. Oh, I like that. And with this kind of a background, a white text would work better. It just lets it pop a little bit more. And then we can just click and drag and move it up to the top. And now we got a pretty nice slide. So hope this helps make your presentations more engaging.